So I've got Captain America, the Winter Soldier. This is the 4K disc rip. This movie has four subtitles in it. I was testing this. It's going to take a minute to go playback. It's an HDR movie. Got a resync, 60 to 24. Back up in here. So this is what I like. Infuse puts the forced subtitles from the subtitle track in the picture image of a scope screen. People spend $14,000 on mad VR processors to deal with problems like this. And uh, I don't know about Plex. I don't know how Plex does it, quite honestly. Um, maybe it does the same thing. Maybe Plex and its players have options for this uh, as well. But this is really important. Uh, if you're going to use a playback device in a dedicated theater space, you have an ultra wide sc wide screen screen and you're zooming right you're zooming up um, in order to fill your screen with scope content if uh, uh, some other players hardware players or software players by default when they encounter a force subtitle may put them at the bottom bottom of the screen in the black bar space outside of the picture image which is a problem if I hit my control four trigger here and I zoom this movie up, right? So it'll do the, the restore, the lens shift, all that kind of stuff. Go into, going back to this here, right? So again, now I've taken my projection, my, my projection on my screen. I've zoomed it up uh, as big as my throw distance allows me to fill. I need that JVC NZ9 would get me the little bit of extra to, to make that make that full screen fill. But if I had an inferior uh, playback hardware or uh, playback software that didn't either do the subtitles intelligently or didn't allow me to control where the subtitles went to, those subtitles would be off the screen right now. They, they could be down in the black space, and I would have essentially just zoomed and masked them off. Uh, but by default, um, out of the box, just the way they coded the player, right? Infuse puts those subtitles in the movie image. Perfect, awesome, 